Hello everyone. This video presents another topic of the induction motors drive and control course. In this test, I am going to measure the speed profile and also the wave forms of the currents, right? The phase A, B, and C. Here in this test, I apply the rated DC link voltage using this power supply. And also here we have this power supply for gate drivers. In this test, we are going to check the developed code for VF control. Here I didn't attach the load to the motor and just I'm going to set the frequency of the rotating phasor in this test we use SPWM method and in the next tests we will implement the space vector PWM okay so here we have torque meter and current clamps also here is the oscilloscope Let's run the code to measure the speed profile, the positive ramp, the negative ramp that we discussed during the course, right? In this code, we consider a slope, right? For acceleration and deceleration of the motor. So here, let's start a new measurement. Right now, the speed is zero. Let me reduce the size of the video here. And let's set the frequency of the current equal to 10 and start the timer. So when the frequency is low, right we apply that residual voltage so here as you can see we have this positive slope for increasing the frequency so let's increase the frequency to 20 we have this rise in the motor speed what is the value of the speed now is close to 600 rpm we have this a small difference between this number and 600 due to friction and windage, right? Mechanical losses. So let me increase to 30 hertz. The positive ramp also here. And also let's check the phase currents, the current of the phase A, B, and C. Let's have a measurement here. Measure the frequency is close to 30 hertz. The frequency of the first channel or first phase. Measure the frequency of the second one, the horizontal frequency and also the third one. Yes. Now let's check. Here, if I reduce the speed to 20.5, for example, as you can see here, we have this negative slope to reduce the motor speed. And here we have the value of the 20.5 for frequency of the phase A, B, and C. So you can adjust the value of the slope in the code, one of our parameters. Let me test another number, for example, 33.6. Right, we have this positive ramp now and increasing the motor speed. 33.6. Right, we have this right fluctuations so let's apply the rated speed or 50 hertz 
the frequency should be 50 Hertz rated is without the motor here we have okay let me reduce this number also to 5 okay so you can repeat the same test to check right the developed code let me reduce the motor speed to 20 set the frequency and finally we can turn off the timer so yes this is open loop control okay and in the next tests we will use a speed encoder first to implement closed loop speed control methods and then we will implement sensorless vector controls so here we have this current and finally we can stop the timer right we have this reduction in the value of speed and when the speed is lower than the minimum value we turn off the timer you can repeat the test right start the timer again by setting the value of the frequency of the phase current or actually the frequency of the rotating field in our code okay so anyway you can repeat this test and let's continue for the next test in the next videos thanks for watching